and what's, uh, what's in store for Rune. Will 2023 bring more gains or losses for Rune holders? Let's explore what factors could impact Thorchain's native token in the new year. And Thorchain has shown resilience through volatility adapting to change in market conditions. As a decentralized liquidity provider, its usefulness is derived from network activity rather than hype. However, upgrades in PMS's adoption provide upside potentials. Uh, breaking it down, uh, Thorchain aims to be a leader in cross-chain swaps, powering transactions across networks like Ethereum and Bitcoin. Its upcoming multi-chain upgrade could expand its addressable market by supporting additional blockchains. If successful, this may lead to a higher trading volumes and fee generation benefiting Rune holders. Uh, in addition, a growing developer interest could spur new use cases word, for example, building decentralized applications that utilize Thorchain as a backend. Uh, increasing real-world utility would strengthen its value proposition uh, at or uh, good for post permission with permission. On the bearish side, crypto shows macro factors like recession fears may continue weighing on crypto prices. Additionally, facing competition from other DEXs could limit Thorchain's upside. Maintaining network security and usability will also be important for retention. And they were, and right now I may call them this business or other business. And given its core strengths and planned developments, four to six dollars still seems reasonable for ye, a 2023 part of I. But the crypto market's volatility means uh, both over and under shooting that range is plausible too. Focusing on fundamentals of the underlying protocol, long-term holders have historically been rewarding. And with that said, thanks for exploring THRS potential with me. Let me know if any other questions come up.